talk us through sort of um, after a disappointing end to the season. How have you have you sort of uh, gathered your thoughts and what what's the thoughts on the season as a whole and, and sort of how it finished there? Yeah, so it's a uh, tough tough reflecting on it. Uh, everyone had really high expectations. I think internally we believe that we are as good as any team in the competition. So in that respect, it's disappointing to have um, not you know, had to watch two other teams play in the grand final and Geelong win. So I think um, you can take that one of two ways. And, and our group, I thought hopefully that's fire in the belly. And um, you know we've had a bit of a time time away from training and things of that nature. So we'll, we'll get back to that shortly. And hopefully that just burns in our head and uh, fuels us to go through pre-season. How's your body? So did you need any anything done or, or uh, pre-season good to go? Million bucks. Golf golf season's on. So um, <laughs> tip top shape for that. Um, but no, no, nothing to worry about. I'm, I'm primed for a good off season. And, um, I'm looking forward to getting back into it. Excellent. Um, a talk sort of throughout the um, the season, or the better half of the season, and, and obviously this trade period of getting Brody Grundy. Have you spoken to Brody? Were you part of the pitch to, to him to get into the club? I don't know. I have no idea about any of that stuff. I, <laughs> if, I, if I had to bet, I'd say Gorney would have been in there because yeah. you know they're rough, rough buddies, so they, they speak the same sort of language. But um, you know, everyone's linked to everyone, and you know, if we get Brody Grundy, then that's you know it's a big win for our club. I think he's an awesome player. Um, but yeah, as I said, you know, all sorts of different rumours yes. floating around. I think I'm getting to, I'm getting traded to ten different clubs as well. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes. But um, you know, I, I, we got an awesome list management group. I think they've nailed it over the last few years. So I'm, I've got a full lot of trust yeah. in them. In, in all seriousness, around, around the Brody stuff, do you? I mean, what sort of elements would he add add to the team? Obviously, with, with Luke stepping out. Well, I think you saw Gorney. Well, if you're watching the Melbourne games, you saw Gorney play more forward, and Dogger was playing more in the ruck. So. I think that's an, a real strength of Gorney's is being able to accommodate another, you know, A-grade ruckman, and, and that's certainly what Brody brings. So I think it just adds another string to our bow. So Luke would go in and um, add a heap of energy, and then Gorney would be forward, and, and they'd flip, and you know, it's hard to match up on the two of them. So I think if you've got two A-grade rucks, which is, um, you know, certainly Brody qualifies for that, then um, you're just all the more dangerous. And Gorney is on, is a really capable forward. I know Brody can go down there as well. Um, so I think if we add him, you know, you always want to add more talent to your team. And I think, again, totally speculating, I've got no mm, idea. Absolutely. So yeah. if it works out, I'll be, I'll be very happy. Yep. Uh, no, nah, mate, you're not going anywhere. You've just signed a obviously massive new deal, so you don't have to worry about it. Hey, last one. Uh, obviously, Christian and Clayton are probably the ones to beat tonight. Anyone you can see pipping them to? Uh, that's a good question. I think Jack Viney might be uh, under the radar. So he's um, heart and soul of our team, sort of heartbeat sort of guy. So he plays most games and... It's always in and around it, so if, if uh, there's a dark horse, I'd say him. Go on, you mate. I really appreciate your time.